Tidak tahu lah learning how to parallel park. Hey baby! You come here often? Nick, 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 Indian. And so Nolan's Victoria is helping her learn. We got some stuff set up out here. I don't know if it's good or bad. It is one more out of the way. And uh, I just, I, she's had her successes and she's had her, her little feelings of failing, but uh, those are good because you don't want to think it's that easy all the time. Sometimes there are things out of our control. So, I'm not in there. Because, as it turns out, I might not be a good backup. Parallel Parker backup. She's got to be doing that stuff. See, the first time... My sister found out that, that Nolan's Victoria and I were, were friends um, hanging out, you know, as she put it. We picked her up from the airport, and so it was her and Nolan, Victoria, and my niece. We share the same niece. And my sister looked and said, God! And it could have been very bad. It could have gone very bad. But just probably about a mile or so from the from the airport. We were late to went to Traverse City to pick her up because there was not a rental car to be had in the city of Traverse City, Michigan. In in the middle of summer. So we're driving and the niece is talking about her honeymoon and she mentions the word scuba diving just as I'm coming up to a street light, which is a T, which I've driven very many times in my youth. And she mentions the word scuba diving and I'm driving and I said, scuba diving? And I got so excited I turned the wrong damn way. I lost my mind altogether. And, um, so then we're going the wrong way and we're on this city's country road with trees and marshland and, and we go by this driveway and I just automatically do something like I do, which so many times gets me in trouble. And I went by this driveway and I stopped and I went to back up in between the uh, end of that driveway that was going downhill to where that guy's property was at the house. And um, Uh, I should be paying closer attention to what's going on. I wasn't going to say anything. I wasn't going to say anything. And so, uh, I go to back in there and, and uh, the niece mentions later that she wondered what those bowling balls were. There were like a stack of bowling balls, three of them, she said, and uh, right there, and there was no rebar in them as far as I can tell, but I found out what they were there for. I went down in, into the ditch off the side of the road and I was in, down in the wet grass and almost in marsh land and I'm testing my car and I knew it had what it took because I've tested it before, but never quite like this. I got a car full of people with aggression in the car right now. The only one that's 
that's not feeling anything really wrong is like, uh, well, it, it's me and, and Denise. But, uh, so suddenly, we're down in this thing, blah, 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 and I'm going, whoop, 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 using traction control until, I, you know, I was taking it easy using the traction control until it uh, got me to a place where I could get it going a little bit and then gun it. It was a one-shot type of thing because if I didn't do it, I was going to end up down in the bottom of the marsh. And uh, it worked. And as we're pulling up on the road, I heard, I figured my muffler was peeled off at the least but I heard this clunk clunk and I'm like I don't know what the hell this is it doesn't sound good and there are no rental cars in Traverse City I thought maybe my drive shaft was falling off and uh so I pulled up out of this guy's driveway and he was there he let the dog out uh, <laughs> and sat in there I just figured it was gonna be somebody like my dad in his underwear on the porch with a shotgun going you where you came from and um and uh I pulled up onto the road and I knew that I couldn't keep driving like that so I pulled off the side of the road on the other side of the road right across from the house where he could see us with a good shot and I'm in a suit I'm dressed for a wedding <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The guy shouldn't have been getting something out of his trunk. He should not have been getting something out of his trunk in a street full of strangers. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, pick that up. And so she, uh, she got, ah, and we, we pull over to the side. I'm like, we're in trouble. My car is just destroyed. I figured it's going to take weeks in a shop to get this taken care of, whatever it is. And, uh, I get out. Everybody's still in the car. Ah, my sister and her daughter in the back seat and Nolan's Victoria in the front. And I pull up on the side of the road and have where I could walk down into the ditch with the cattails and stand there and look right at it and I got down there and Nolan's Victoria thought I was making a Christmas story joke when I said it but I looked with the most utter dread in my heart what am I gonna see under here and I said it's a bowling ball and she just started laughing. She thought that it could have, it could only be a joke. And she says to me, you know, that in that time of us knowing each other, she was in the car and she's like, this is where we find out. This is where we find out. And it never tore me apart. I was serious about the situation. I had to pull out my jack, which fortunately, uh, I learned how to use it that day because I needed it about a month later for a flat tire on some other just total disconnected. But um, so I'm s sitting on the side of the road. There was a bowling ball. I found out why those three things, bowling balls were stacked up. Like I said, without rebar, there was nothing in there that peeled up and took me right in the anus through the bottom of the car. There was nothing like that. And if it happened to my sister, she's not talking about it. But, uh, yeah, there was just a bowling ball. And I, my car is so low that I couldn't just pull it out. So we had to jack it up, pull out all the stuff we had in the trunk we just picked up from the airport that my sister's 
tired of carrying around already, but let's take it out again. And uh, so I thought it was a very good uh, display of driving skills, just getting out of there. And then, uh, and even then, when I pulled the bowling ball out, I got it out. I said, and I was going to throw it in the guy's yard over there because it was his. And she just said, sister, sister. I said, don't you even bother? He's looking at it. He's looking at it. And so I set it on the side of the road. And I just went thump from a short distance. Thump. And it rolled down into the ditch. And I said, now I've insulted the guy. I just throw threw the, his bowling ball, his work of art. Somehow it was a work of art. I don't know how those bowling balls were standing. She said there were three of them. But there was nothing holding them together. There were no drill holes in it other than, you know, and there was no plug stuck that was holding the couple together. Just amazing. That's, that's the kind of art you find in northern Michigan. But at the same time, my sister, she did that whole Dr. Wayne Dyer thing. She labeled and negated me because that's the only time you know it was after that short on the same trip she said we already know you can't do any backup driving <laughs> it's the only time you've ever seen me back up in my life i've backed up through walls i'm an amazing backer upper i can get wherever i need to go and drive away without a scratch so this is why i am not teaching and it maybe maybe it affected me Maybe I do think that I'm a better backup driver than I think I am, but uh, because of, of my sister's opinion of me, without any, putting any real thought into it, an opinion for sure. She thinks she knows it, but it, that's, uh, you can only say you know something if there are enough other people that agree, and that doesn't always work. Look at that perfect job. That's the stuff, Ella. Driving, driving, driving.